Hey YouTube, what's up? It's KShy22 here bringing you guys a brand new video. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can actually hack and mod your uh, Fallout 3 game. And as you can see here, I have like a million bullets and I have the Alien Blaster and the value of this is, you know, 499,000. Uh, you know, I have a hundred buff out, thousands and thousands of stem tacks. I'm going to show you guys exactly how you guys can go ahead and do this today. So step one is to go ahead and save um, whatever game save that you want. Uh, you're going to go ahead and select X and select your flash drive, okay? And then once you see this, go ahead and save. You can create a new one or whatever. And once you've saved it, you're going to want to remember that number of your game save. So go back into load and see that it's game save number 38. Now this is important if you have multiple game saves. However, if you have just one, it's no big deal. So two things to make sure of is to know your game save number and that you have selected the flash drive, not your hard drive. Okay, so the next step is to go ahead and unplug your flash drive and plug it into the computer. All right, you guys, once your flash drive is plugged into your computer, you should see a USB drive pop up with a folder with nothing in it. This flash drive is actually does have content on it. However, your computer cannot read it without special software. So to get the software that you need, you're going to go ahead and go into my description and there should be a download link. Go ahead and download that and you should have a zip file. From there, you're just going to go ahead and drag that folder onto your desktop or wherever you need it. And within this folder, you'll have two tools which you might need and a folder which you can create called backup. Really, realistically, you'll just have these two folders. But um, like I said, you might want to create a folder called backup. So go ahead and launch your Horizon um, tool, which is included in this package. All the software is free and um, it is pretty simple to use. Just make sure you guys follow exactly what I do if you want to make sure that this actually mods. Um, it did take me a while to do all this and try to figure this out because over the years, things have gotten a little bit more complicated. So go ahead and um, on the right side, there should be a device explorer icon um, bar. Go ahead and select that and under games, you'll notice that there's many games here. Um, you know, if you have a game that's lit up with green, you can actually load that straight up and mod it within Horizon itself. Now that might be a little out of your guys' league or a little complicated, um, so you may want to Google or YouTube some tutorials on that. But today we'll be focusing on Fallout 3. So what we're going to do is that uh, folder which we had before, um, the Fallout Mod Tools folder, we're going to go ahead and drag this into that and it will extract the game save into here. You see how that worked? Now we're going to right click this game save and we're going to delete it. And um, if you have multiple ones, remember how on the Xbox I told you to remember that number? It will, that number is actually your game save number. So if you have multiple game saves, just select whatever number that was. And then we're going to go ahead and delete that. Now before we get too far ahead, we're going to go ahead and copy this. And we're going to go ahead and, and create a backup folder and paste our backup in there. A lot of times it's very easy to corrupt your game save and that's the last thing we want to happen right now. The next thing we're going to actually do is the modding process. So open up the Fallout 3 VE folder and launch the application within it. If you open two like me and just exit out of the other. All right, and here we can go ahead and hit File and Open. Within that Fallout Mods tool where we had extracted that game save, we're gonna go ahead and just open it. Within here, you'll be able to see many things, and this is where you guys are gonna have to pay very close attention to what I do and what I tell you guys not to do. One thing you guys should not do is change the level and XP when all of these are equal to 10. What will happen is when you level up, you'll be stuck in a screen that you cannot get out of, and it's a glitch. Um, so, you know, make sure you have some room to play with with your special, your special numbers or whatever you want to call those. I completely forget what they're called. Next thing is inventory. One thing that I noticed that has changed since a couple years ago 
is, is that if I were to try to change this buff out to a special weapon, what's going to happen is, is that my mod, everything that I mod for, for this game save is not going to save. It'll just be um, resolved back to the default. So make sure you change the type to the same type that it already is, if that makes sense. Any the time you change uh, like an ammo to a gun or a gun to an ammo or um, an alchemy item, you're playing on a very risky table where your game save may come corrupt or it may resolve back to the ba uh, the previous state that it was before. Okay, so um, for example, you know if we want to change our ten mini guns to fifteen mini guns, all we have to do is double click the mini gun column um, row and we can just change that and then click update if we want to change that condition to uh, 400 we can go ahead and do that now that another do and don't is make sure you do not put something that's outrageous you know it's okay to be a little overboard and maybe change this to 1400 if you really wanted to but realistically you guys if I were to just add an ad like this Eventually, it's going to get to a number that the Xbox cannot actually compute or work with. It's out of range. So make sure you keep things within range and reasonable for these numbers, but also something where you can enjoy and just kind of play around with. Now, um, to see some things that actually change, you know, so you guys see that this actually does work. And hopefully I don't break anything and ruin anything. But so, for instance, remember we had one alien blaster. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 3 and update that and we can go ahead and see what else we have in here. So we do have a fat man and unfortunately we're going to change our fat man to a different item. Now this there's a website, uh, it's called fallout.fandom.com and here you can actually see a list of all the guns and such in the game. Um, here let's go ahead and see um what sort of weapons we can find within this so legends okay so here's a list of all pistols in the game rifles shotguns um smg roan flamer torch mini guns now i do have the zeta uh dlc so if you guys have dlc you can add that in here However, if you do not have the DLC, you are playing on a risky table where you're, you may corrupt your game save or glitch out the game. There's a lot to it. So if you don't have a DLC installed and you put a DLC item within your game save, like I said, you're on a risky table. It's worth a try if you want to try it. But from my experience, it's never turned out well. So um, let's see what kind of weapon I actually want. Um, let's go ahead and just change it to the Gauss Rifle. Um, so we can go ahead and open this back up. And to keep that, um, add the Gauss Rifle ID from the website, I'm just going to make sure that I get it on here. So just type in Gauss or whatever the weapon you want. Um, it looks like it's part of, nope, it's not part of a DLC. If it is part of a DLC, it'll say DLC in front of it. However, this one is not. And it looks like there's two IDs. And it looks like the one on the website ends with 7D. Let's see what one this one has. So we're going to go ahead and select this one. This one seems to be the safe route. Once you double click it, it will save that um, ID. And so you can just right click and paste. And we're going to change the quantity of this to four. And we can go ahead. Oh, I don't think that. OK, yep. Make sure you double click that. I don't know what's going on. Select all, we're going to paste that new ID, that 7D ID there. We're going to change the quantity to 2, or we can just leave it at 1. And we can change the condition to 200 and update. So now we should have a gosh rifle at 200 condition, one quantity, and a new weapon. Okay, so now we can go ahead and get go to file and save. And, hit, and you should see it says done at the bottom left. If you accidentally double click save, you may end up with a corrupt game save and you may want to just bring up that backup which we saved earlier and just work off that and restart. 
Once we're done with this, we're going to exit out of that window and this window and make sure the mod tool is completely X out of and closed. So here is now our, our modded game save and we're going to drag that into Horizon right here in the gray space. We're going to click sign, hit OK, save to device and flash drive. It'll we'll ask us if we want to hit uh, save and just hit yes. Yeah. And once it says it's success, successfully uh, saved, hit OK exit and then go ahead and exit out of horizon and you should be able to right click your flash drive and eject it once it says you can remove it go ahead and remove it and um go onto your xbox and plug your usb into your xbox so once you're back on your xbox you should see this message which you should have seen earlier just hit ok and we can go ahead and hit pause load we should be able to find our flash drive if it's plugged in properly. Unfortunately, my Xbox is older, so I have to kind of wiggle my flash drive until it recognizes it. Once you see your flash drive pop up, go ahead and click it. You should see your game saved. Go ahead and click that, hit yes, and it should load it. If you've done it incorrectly, you may get a message saying that it's going to convert it back to its default or things may not be loaded properly or so forth. So now we can go ahead and hit B, and we should start to see, um, unfortunately, my Goss rifle did not go back into the game. Um, what else did we change? Huh. Okay, so I do have the three alien blasters now, which did update. I have more miniguns. Just unfortunately, that Gauss rifle did not come into the game. However, some of the stuff that I did mod did actually come into the game. Why the Gauss rifle did not exactly come in, I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm just, that's just unfortunate. Um, with these mods being older and updates being newer than these mods, I think there's just going to be some things that you guys might have to live without while doing these mods. And uh, that's just something you guys are going to have to play around with. Um, and perhaps you guys can figure out more of why this issue is um, than what I know. Um, like I said, I'm just dwelling right back into this. And um, if you guys have any questions, just comment below. Uh, you know, please comment, right and subscribe. If you, if you guys have any tips or ideas or you guys figure out these issues that I'm experiencing with this, go ahead and um, drop down a comment or find me on Facebook and shoot me a message at kshadow 22 um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Although that the mod did not turn out 100%, it looked like it did turn out about 90% at least. And it did kind of pull out in the end. All right, see you guys next time.